<laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back! And as always, if you're a real one, drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. We got some MLB The Show 21 tips today. A bu a bu a bu bu banger! We're gonna be going over hitting tips and PCI control. So after you drop a like on the video, go right into options, gameplay, strike zone two, strike zone, and strike zone high is the only three hitting views that you should be using. Whichever one of them is the best for you, that's what you use. Now in play, view offense, I like to use high. Now you can use anything that you want. Don't let me tell you exactly what to do. I'm just telling you. As a beginner, this is what helped me out because I'm a beginner and I'm able to hit five to seven home runs per game and I'm on a seven to eight game winning streak right now after struggling. This is going to help you with Conquest. This is going to help you with Showdown. This is going to help you with World Series online ranked gameplay overnight. PCI Center, Altitude, PCI Inner, None, PCI Outer, Outline, any color that you want. The first thing you want to do you want to find out how the pitches move. So we're going to sit right underneath his chin. Boom. You can see his two seam fastball is at a straight line. You push right trigger. He has a four seam. He has a two seam. And he has a cutter. So any pitch that goes at a straight line is going to be his fastest pitches. Everything else is going to be slower with a tail to it. What I mean by that is a right hand pitcher going against a left-handed better or a right-handed better if it's a off speed or anything but the fastball well two seam also it's gonna start in one spot and end in another spot so we're gonna go over that right now boom so his four seamer not much tail on it not too much going left not too much going right now we're gonna sit right here and we're gonna look at a different pitch hopefully boom so his cutter you can see his cutter went down right here and then dropped off at the end so that is what make you pop the ball up that is what make you get yourself into double plays now another key thing you want to do after you get pci placement we're going to sit the pci right here we're going to find out how the ball goes boom his cutter you can see it went under the pci like a fastball right here at the dirt i can see every pitch i would rather move my pci up and hit it hit it on then be up here and try to move my PCI down and get underneath an easy hittable ball. Now, you might not struggle like me, but I yanked the PCI either down or this way. So guess what? I know that's my weakness. So in order to counter that, I come down to the dirt. This is where he's at. I come down to the dirt and I sit it off to the right because I don't want my thumb to jerk it. I would rather go over to the left and find the ball Instead of jerking it, one, jerking it down, and number two, jerking it and missing it with the PCI. I wasn't paying attention at all, but you can see the hits are good. So number one, what you want to do, shoulder length. Watch the ball. Does it travel above? Does it travel down? Boom. Down, straight shot. So from the dirt, we're going to be able to travel to the left. And we're going to be able to travel to the right. And that's exactly how you want to do it. You want to wait on your pitch. Now, that was a 97 miles per hour fastball. And it looks like it was real easy because as long as I'm right here, I can reach any pitch super fast. Two perfect perfects in a row. And when you make them use more pitches, it's going to tire them out. So they're going to accidentally start throwing pitches in the zone. So we're going to take this first pitch. We put the PCI on it at the last second. You can see my movement is real slow. My movement is real slow. I don't want to do no jerking. But here we go. Down in the dirt right here. You don't got to be all the way in the dirt. Just down by the dirt. Boom. We're going to be able to pick that ball up. And we should be able to get a double or a triple out of that. And I'm telling you, moving the PCI feels so much smoother when you are already down in the zone. Now, we're going to hit up in the zone. You might be a person that feel like you want to hit up in the zone, okay? So, we're going to come up here. We're going to figure out his pitch. Boom. Okay, down in the zone. 
Now, the problem that I have, and I know a couple of y'all out there have the same problem, is if I stay in the center or if I'm chasing down pitches from up, I will push my PCI too far down. So that was a good hit right there and a good swing, but that's not something that happens all the time. So we got one base hit, one very late swing. So I'm gonna move around, keep my fingers loose, and I'm gonna actually try. Okay, so early foul ball on the cutter. You know, I'm just not able to read it out of his hand as much when it's already this high. I need to be low so I can see his whole body, his full movement. Now we down in the dirt and I'm chasing that. And now we can pop up into a double play. That's not what you want. I'm going to let that first pitch go. Boom. Okay. First pitch, 97 miles per hour to the inside. Now we got a turn on one. So now we got a 99 miles per hour base hit to the opposite side of the field. Okay. So any kind of fastball is going to be a straight line out of his hand. Anything else is going to be float. Boom. Right into the gap. Perfect, perfect hit. We're going to get a guy from first base all the way home. we putting points on the board. So we take that first pitch. Every time, refresh yourself so, so you don't get lackadaisical. Every time, new better up, same method. Go come right here to the shoulders. Just hold the PCI right there. It don't have to be exactly right there. Boom. He throws it right there where your PCI at. You don't have to do too much movement. Because once you throw it up, he thinks that you're going to figure it out. Now you right there in the zone waiting for off speed, for anything to come over there so you can rock it. So he threw it high. He don't want to keep throwing it in the same spot over and over. So you just sitting down here baiting him. He threw it high. He don't know that you sitting low. And now we got a perfect, perfect to the opposite side. We got a perfect, perfect to the opposite side. We was able to go up there and catch the cutter up high. So here we go. First pitch right here. We just hit a home run. First pitch. Boom, he went back high again. Now, some people might throw curve balls to the outside. You just let them get balls, 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 balls. But eventually, he's going to have to come around this area. And we're going to be waiting on him. I was very late on that one right there. All right, so here we go. Two strikes. Two strikes. So you got to defend the plate. You got to be paying attention. Once he releases it, you have to be paying attention. There we go. Perfect. 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 Now you see, and I was getting perfect perfects on the ones that was outside, to the left, all that. Like them. Them high and outside balls, I'm getting perfect perfects on them. But base hits is just flying off the base when it comes into this area of the box right here. Look at that. That area of the box, I never had so many perfect perfects, I'm telling you. This all I realized in the past 48 hours, man. Just come up here, be patient. That first pitch, let it come, figure out. Uh, floater in the air, and then drop down. Boom, straight shot right there. I mean, you could have killed that. But guess what? After the first pitch, now you are waiting on everything. That's what makes it so good. You looking for the fastball, waiting for the off speed, waiting for the perfect, perfect. And that's the reason why I'm giving you all these tips. The first pitch, you're going to take it. You're going to see what he has to offer. The next pitches, you're going to be waiting for him. So the first pitch, here we go. Boom. Cutter with a little bit of movement to it. So he has a cutter with a little bit of movement. And now it's like the glitch is going to take off. Fastball, off speed. We're going to go over there and turn on it. And we're going to get a base hit. You feel me? We're going to take that slow guy against that monster arm that he got. We're going to slide and he getting thrown out. All right, so one more time. One more time. We're going to take the pitch. Okay. Low cutter. This guy is using a lot of pitches. We're taking that first pitch every time. This dirt tells you everything that you need to know. If it goes underneath this second level, you don't want it. Boom. If he catch that, I'm going to be surprised. Drop a like on the video. It's all love. If y'all rocking with me, then I got y'all. Let's get it.